Don't nobody know? It's certain things about Anthony that I've never experienced and is a growing process for me. And it was times when we was going through our challenges, I didn't handle it correctly. Well, I didn't. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blackbird 91. We're talking to you guys about, well, uh, Ready to Love and dealing with Cynthia um, and Anthony. And uh, we're talking about the fact that Andre seemed to be right. It came, it looked like Anthony was right not to choose Cynthia. I mean, he wasn't right choosing Jeffrey either. So it's one for two, but um, he was seemingly right for not choosing Cynthia. There was something about Cynthia's behavior that didn't quite right sit with him and if you remember correctly earlier in my uh, reviews of Cynthia I said one of my reviews I said she talks too nice all her answers are too good all her answers are well are too well thought out they're, they're just too good and that's a red flag that's a slight that could that could be a red flag I said at the time not that it is um and I was saying that because the answers were so well prepared in every case but the biggest issue that Andre always had, and I highlighted it in several videos, is the femininity issue. And I need to actually release some more videos I haven't done yet. But the femini femininity issue, the fact that he felt like she wasn't feminine enough, um, or should I say, wasn't, quote unquote, soft enough. And I think that is expressed in this particular video when she uses different words, but it, it ends with the same um, proposal in the end as well. So we're going to break it all the way down for you guys. If you want to know more about what I'm going to say, like it, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification of the what up lows. And for those of you who are returnees, you didn't know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. All right, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, let's scoot, 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 bat, 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 Okay, so first thing I want to notice is when the video starts, the body language is off. Now, I was giving it a few seconds to play first and let it see what happens, but she continued talking in the same body language. In fact, the body language felt a little bit disrespectful. Her whole back was towards Anthony. Her whole back, beautiful back as it is, but it was, her whole back was towards Anthony. And maybe she'll have a different perspective, but it, it's, it gives off a disrespectful energy. Like, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. We're not good. I don't like you. I don't want to be anywhere near you. Not only was her back towards him, but a gap between the two of them was humongous. It was not a small gap. Let's look at it. Right? Huge. Now, of course, she's turning to face uh, uh, um, Tommy. So that's part of the reason why. But to turn your whole body and hold your legs in the same... Like, usually people... Like, how Anthony's sitting to, uh, and opening himself up, he's got an open body position where he's opened himself up He's facing front, but his neck is turned towards Tommy, right? Now, you can always angle your body slightly at an angle. You could always move your body to be slightly at an angle and be slightly angled and still be able to look at Tommy and still keep your body open to the other person. But when you turn your whole back, like, I, and if I turn my whole back towards you and I'm talking to you, but I'm talking about the situation, I've, I've removed the, the connection between me and you. So that told me, I mean, before she even opened her mouth, I already knew they weren't together. I already knew issues were happening because of body language, right? And his facial expression right now. Look at his facial expression. There's a little bit of contempt there. There's a little bit of annoyance right there. A growing process for me. And it was times when we was going through our challenges, I didn't handle it correctly. Well, I didn't handle him correctly. And Now, I wonder how what she was saying when she meant... Uh, she didn't handle him correctly. What did she not handle? Now that's giving. Uh, like you know, remember that very first conversation Andre had about saying to her, "Are you, you know, are you soft? Are you able to submit?" Uh, and she, you know, she said she wants to be in that place where she can be soft and be submissive and be uh, in her feminine energy. I have a feeling that feminine energy, uh, you know, came out. Okay, I have a feeling that feminine energy didn't stay. I have a feeling that the, uh, you know, the hardness and the combativeness and uh, uh, the the fear of being able to relax came out in their relationship, right? Because she and fair play to her, she took all responsibility and accountability. So I'm not I'm not trying to trash her. I'm only just trying to speculate on what she said. That you know, she said that she didn't handle him correctly. Um, didn't handle the situation correctly. And there were things that she had never really encountered before. What is that? What is that? Right? You know, those things that you haven't never encountered before. Interesting. 
going through this journey with Anthony, I realized that I was emotionally unavailable. What? They f man, this is a lot. Kind of like took a step. Now, I want to ask this question. How are you emotionally unavailable? How did you realize that? Were you emotionally unavailable to Anthony or throughout the whole process? Because as you realized you started dating Anthony, that's when you realized you were emotionally unavailable? Really? Or were you emotionally unavailable to Anthony? Because we know that you wanted um, Andre. You made, a, you made it very clear when you wanted to highlight the fact that Jeffrey, you, you couldn't understand why Jeffrey was in Andre's, uh, Andre's, um, uh, in Andre's life the way she was, or at least being one of his top um, people, right? So again, the I keep saying this. I say this all the time, every year I say this. When women talk about if the man just presents the best kind of energy towards me, I'm going to change. No, you're not. You're not just going to change. If it, if, you, if he puts a safe hedge and a safe zone around me, I'm going to be more feminine. No, you're not. You need to learn how to be feminine by yourself. You need to learn how to become your own safe zone and allow yourself to be in your most feminine energy. But if I just find a man that just, you know, that just knows how to handle me. No. You need to learn how to become more feminine. You don't ask a man if a man gets around a woman, he will become more masculine around me. He'll start provide. No, he should have those ethics and those codes before he meets you. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Back because that's best to be the best woman that I can be for Anthony because he is a great guy and he deserved that. And I want to do that for him. Anthony, how now, she says she wants to do that for him. And I think they're probably working it out, but they're working it out separately. They're not working it out together in a relationship. They're working it out separately. Now, Andre's laughing because I think his point was proved, right? And also as well, I'm sure that he probably likes uh, 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 Cynthia too. You know, he's getting, he's winning a little bit from it. Uh, maybe he told Anthony and said he warned him. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe that was it also too. Whatever the reason, he was cracking up. Um, and I think part of it is because, like I said, um, you know, his his point was proven. There was something about Cynthia that was not being authentic in terms of the fact she wasn't being fully honest. Because if you found that you're emotionally unavailable, baby, you are emotionally unavailable in the process, not just um, with Anthony. You had that emotional unavailability on the process. How do you feel about that decision? I think it was a very mature thing. We're all going to have our flaws. You know what I mean? So it just depends on how we tackle it, acknowledge it, and we work on it. Get to it, Anthony. Now, Anthony is always going to be polite. Anthony is always going to be respectful. Anthony is always going to come correct in the way he deals with it. Um, I believe that's the kind of man that he is. Um, and just like how he handled the James situation, her ex, I definitely believe that he's a, somebody who's a respectful individual and won't be disrespectful to anybody. And I love that about him, his energy, you know, very calm, soothing uh, presence, not, not trying to get in your face and blow things up. We saw how he handled James. So those are great qualities to have. And I think the same thing probably would have played out with, with, um, would have played out with Cynthia. But the reality is, just because someone presents a safe haven doesn't mean the orphan spirit within you won't spike up and come out. And that's where a lot of people are. They have an orphan spirit. When I say orphan spirit, what I mean by that is they're not used to being treated well, they're not used to having a safe space. They're used to fighting. They're used to being uh, bullied. They're used to being hurt. They're used to uh, people having poor intentions. They're used to people trying to get at them and wanting to uh, hurt them. And so their natural reaction is to hurt the other person. Do you get it? Rather than actually being safe and being in their functionality, their dysfunction becomes functional. So when they start seeing functionality and it's safe, they have to create dysfunction in order to feel safe because it's not what they're used to. You guys have heard me say it before. Damn. Y'all talking about it. it. So being able to take acknowledgement and say, you know what, I need to work on this in order for me to be a better person for you. You can't do anything but respect it. So hopefully she does what she says she's going to do. And um, we'll build a friendship. I will, babe. I will. <laughs> Now, I don't understand why the body language that way, it's a bit odd. Um, and even that tone, I will, babe, I will, just seems a bit more sarcastic. Um, I don't think they're in a good place, personally. By judging by that, the way that that video is, um, if somebody is replenishing, if, some, sorry, so if somebody is in a space where they're growing together, they would have been sitting together the way they need to sit. 
the fact that she's sitting with her back towards him, even I will, baby, I will, is towards the camera, and not necessarily even towards the camera, but in that general direction. It's not to him. She hasn't turned to him and said, you know what, I will. I appreciate it, you know. No, uh, the, the, the situation has turned towards, she turned her whole face towards uh, uh, the camera aspect, not necessarily to do to be camera to be on camera, but more of a case of she's not connecting with him intimately, even in this moment. What's tea? They're not gonna write it. Why, why y'all trying to come down on Anthony? That no, we're not coming down on Anthony. Oh, y'all, we can At what point are you gonna stand for one of the ladies? Because you can stand there for all the men. Why would they want him to stand for one of the ladies in this situation when Cynthia is clearly the one that's wrong? And that tells me if you ladies want to think that Cynthia is in the right. I have to question all of you, because what did you just hear? What What did you just hear? If you want to come down on Anthony, sorry, my arm was looking real good. That's why I have to lift it a little bit. One second, two again. But if you, if 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 I'm questioning you on the fact that why are you all coming on Anthony when clearly the person who's at fault is Cynthia, and you're like, why can't you defend the ladies? Why would I? If you're in the wrong, this season has shown us there are too many problematic women out there, and the men are suffering. Right? We always tell the story about men that are bad. But there are lots of women out there that are absolutely atrocious when it comes to dating. Atrocious. Right? And so it's interesting that you want him, you want Mark Anthony to be on the side of the of the women. For what? For what? Jeffrey, you ain't no saying. For what? Anyway, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. Let me know your thoughts as well, guys, down below. Um, we appreciate you guys. Say lots, say lots. We'll see you again soon.